Why do we even come? Mysterious mage herbalist. Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. these notes himself, the hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right, let's see if we can solve this.
was that well, inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. Wait, something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept with them. Grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Gregenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.
Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen. The girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you, wearing swords like a bandit? Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Ooh, I want something sweet. And me too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life.
don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. His gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. <laughs>